Hi, I'm Jill with One Good Thing by Jilly. And today I'm sharing a secret plumber's trick. And I'm in our bathroom at our new One Good Thing by Jilly studios to share the secrets with you. I think we've all been in a situation where we have a crisis and the toilet refuses to flush and we don't know what to do. Um, especially embarrassing when you were at some place that's not our own home and we don't want to necessarily run out and look for or ask for a plunger. So here's a couple of secret tricks that you can try before you have to embarrass yourself by asking for a plumber. The first thing you're going to do is get, um, well, first of all, the crisis is happening. Help. The toilet's overflowing, it's not going down, what do I do? First thing you wanna do is quickly take off the back of the toilet and reach down and close the flapper. I think we all know what the flapper is. I'm gonna pull up my sleeve here and just stick it down. What this is gonna do is stop the flow of water from the tank into the toilet and it will stop, at least stop the rising water. And that's what you wanna do at this point because otherwise you're gonna have a big mess on your hand. So just reaching in, um, closing the flapper is step number one. Now, you find yourself with a situation that doesn't want to go where it's supposed to go. So what you want to do, try next, is just to get some hot water. And I just have it in a bucket. Obviously, you're probably not going to have a bucket um, handy. You can use, if you're in a bind, empty the trash can, put some hot water in the trash can. Um, whatever you can get your ha hands on, put some hot water in it. You're not, I'm not saying you need boiling water, just hot water from the sink. You can um, fill it with your shower head too, if there happens to be a shower in there, and just pour it down into the toilet. Just like two to three cups. Um, what that's gonna do is going to melt the clog. It's going to help to get things moving. Um, if something's stuck in there, maybe just heating it up with some hot water is going to let it um, move along. If that doesn't work, you have one more option, and that is to get some dishwashing liquid. Now I realize again, if you're in someone else's home, you're probably not going to have this in the bathroom. If you don't have this in the bathroom, grab a bottle of shampoo or some liquid soap that's in the bathroom. And all you're going to do is just squirt, I don't know, one, two, three, count to three. That's all you need to do. And let that work in the toilet for a few minutes because that again is going to help break up grease or anything that might be congealed or clogged in there and then try flushing it again. But at the same time, be ready to hit the flapper again in case it doesn't work. But then you know, you know, after you've given it some time, you can give it another try. If it doesn't work, then hit the flapper again. And then you're gonna have to call for some help. But this trick may help you out of some messy situations. Hopefully it will. For more information on this um, post and this idea, go to onegoodthingbyjilly.com for lots more ideas.